Hey guys, JP554731 again, and I thought I'd just do another review, and this time it's on the Kikote Reka or Inferno Armor. Uh, it's from Tamashi Nations and Bandai, and it's uh, labeled under the Armor Plus uh, series. And uh, I'll put some links down below in the description uh, to where you can find some high quality. Uh, in package pictures and um, I decided to do this video basically because my uh, Tsuiko no Shin or Side of the Torrent is gonna come in a week and people were asking me to do a review video here's the box um, now that you'll notice that I'm using stands for this these figures, and if you're wondering what they were, they're the uh, Act. Well, it's a hybrid. This one is a hybrid of the Act Five stand. Um, this one is for mechanics, and the Act Four stand for humanoid figures. Now, um, you'll see that the stand portion of the Act 4 is kind of hard to articulate and it won't stay in place as well as the Act 5 stand because it has this clicking uh, joint that keeps the stand in place. So I like that about the Act 5 stand. And um, the, the thing about the Act 4 stand that I liked is the square base. And Okay, let's start with the display base, the armor display base, and you can move the helmet around 360. Once the helmet is off, you can move whoops, the shoulder 360. You can move the shoulder armor around, and this little piece you can move around. This is plastic by the way. You also get side to side on the arm joint but the metal uh, piece on the armor hinders it. Um, let's see what else is plastic. This feels to be a metal. The insignias are plastic. Um, the display base itself is plastic. These hand covers are plastic. The this is a hybrid of um, metal and plastic. The inside is uh, plastic. The side skirt is full plastic. Um, the thing that connects the side skirt, the black thing, that's plastic. The back skirt is metal. This portion of the um, chest armor is metal. Mm, the bottom half of the chest armor, the black part, is plastic. This part is metal. This part too. This is plastic. Um, let's see what else. This is metal. This is metal. This is metal. This is metal. And the flap here is plastic. And finally, the helmet itself is, everything is pretty much plastic. I think this is, uh, so that the, the joint in the the figure's um, neck, it won't wear the joint down since it's not heavy, as if it was metal. Okay, so um, the articulation on the side skirt is up and down, and there's some articulation in the foot armor, but you'll have to take it off articulate it the 
There's also some articulation in the flap, the foot piece. Okay, so now let's go to the figure. Basically, sort of the same articulation. 360 in the head. The shoulder armor will move up and down. Now, let's move this aside. The hip joint will go up and down. But, um, the back skirt hinders movement. The knee can do almost a 180. It's double jointed. 90 and then 180. Um, let's see what else. Uh, the ankle can do sort of 30 degrees. And then you can move it side to side. There's another joint in the uh, hip which you can rotate the whole leg 360. Mm. Let's see. The side skirts are, can go up and down. Let's see. The waist joint you can move side to side but the armor hinders it. This piece can move up and down. Um, let's see. Okay, so the arm, the shoulder has a joint that you can rotate the arm 360. But again, the har armor hinders it. There's a, there's a joint in the arm, a double joint. You can almost do 190. Um, again, 360 in the hand. Um, let's see. I was disappointed with the the shoulder armor. It's it's really apparent in the Cory No Seiji uh, armor plus. Not as apparent as in the um, other figures. But the shoulder joint, uh, you can't move the shoulder independent from the, the arm because it's, it's clipped on by this. It would have been nice if they uh, joined this part and uh, the shoulder armor with a double joint so you can move the, the armor around freely so you can uh, do Cory no Seiji's uh, Rai Kozan. It just looks <laughs> really bad if you try to try to pose him in the Rai Kozan. So that was one of my gripes about this figure. Um, also, it would have been nice if the figure had a Revoltec like joint because these feel the joints real feel really loose and they won't really stay in place so it makes it hard for you to pose them or stand them up really so that's why the stands are really necessary for this figure let's go ahead and move on to the next figure and that is the um under gear. Same thing, up and down on the shoulder. Uh, rotation in, in the shoulder joint. <clears throat> 360, or not really 360, but um, 180 on the lower shoulder. Um, 360 at the hand. Let's see what else. Um, up and down on the foot flap. And I think that's about it for uh, excuse me for that. Now let's go on to the undergear figure.
you get 360 on the the head 360 in the shoulder up and down on the shoulder armor 360 on the whole arm about I want to say 180 almost 180 on the double the double arm joint Let's see 360 on the hand um, about 90 on the hip joint let's see on the knee almost the 180 on the ankle up and down and there's a, a separator on the ankle too there's I forgot to mention this on the armored figure but it's really useless because you can't really see it and the armor hinders the articulation as well and up and down flat so yeah that pretty much does it for this uh, review. Uh, this is JP554731 again, and thanks for watching. And I'll have uh, Corin no Seiji up and Tanku no Toma up, and hopefully when I get the, the other Rio, I'll have that up as well. So yeah, uh, please subscribe, rate, comment, as I always appreciate that. See you guys later.